<laughs> Not a good start. All right. <laughs> We're back. Mm-hmm. Episode uh, three, I believe. We're on here. Yeah. That's it. We're on. We're uh, recording. I'm Matt Renato. I'm Nick Cisneros. I'm um, Colin Monahan. And we have a special guest this evening. Very special guest. Super smoking. Mr. Trevor Holmes. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you, guys. Honored where's, to be here. That applause? There we go. Oh. You guys, you guys are like I told you before. You guys are popping my podcast tray. So yes, that one. I we were shocked to find that out as well because I thought you, you this would be like yeah I've done a thousand of these. Yeah, that's my first one. So go go easy on. All right, we'll be slow. gentle. We'll be <laughs> gentle. <laughs> hey, the good thing about this is Trevor, this is our third podcast, so we're all kind of uh, figuring Perfect. out as we go along. Who were your other guests you've had so far? We had uh, Uncle, Uncle Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> nice, <laughs> and I think that's it. So yeah, that's far. it. Uh, yeah. This is episode number three. Jimmy, the uh, uh, keyboard player from our band. He, oh, nice. Yeah, he. we kind of had him on. But yeah, you know. Yeah. So first now, episode this is a big just... step up. You're our big, you're our big <laughs> guest now. First the first guest. episode was just the three of us. Yeah, that's oh, true. Nice. Okay. And we, uh, and we ate, uh, what were those things? Emberries. Emberries. Such a weird name. Did, what, I, but yeah. did I tell you what about that? It? No. It's, it's this berry that, that they made it into like a, like a pill form kind of, and you, like, you suck on it. Yikes. And then, <laughs> yikes! And yikes. then it coats your tongue, and it makes all sour things taste really sweet. Did it work? It works great. Not it for Nick so much. Not for me. But for uh, me, dude, like when you bite into like a lemon, yeah. it was like biting into like a like a almost like a sweet orange. Yeah, it How was. Long it was like it? it was dipped in sugar. Really? Yeah. Wow. yeah. I did I get that, that though. Yeah. Eating the limes and lemons, I got that. So you got good. some sh- Every, some sweetness. Everything on? else after that, it faded away. Interesting. Yeah. Especially I, the vinegar. I have more of them. Brutal. I'll give you a couple. Yeah, I want to try it. Uh, as a parting gift for coming Where do you the get show. them at? You can get them on Amazon. Okay. Yeah. I want to try it. Yeah. That's sick. I think that's where I got them from. I ordered them on the old uh, Amazon. They got, got here the next day. Because that's, what, that's what happens nowadays. The good old Amazon. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like a... It's like doing drugs, but you're not doing drugs. You're yeah. not doing anything bad, but like something weird is like something different is happening to your senses. Right. Yeah. But it's not like bad. It's a f- you're right. flavor tripping, dude. It's super Damn. Cool. That's flavor, right. tripping. flavor tripping. Yeah. Flavor that tripping. That could be your podcast. <laughs> yeah, yo. Flavor tripping. <laughs> flavor tripping <laughs> podcast. I dig that. We'd um, have to eat stuff all the time. <laughs> so, the... Trevor, we go pretty far back now. We do, yeah. Wow. It's it's been a long time actually since since all that went down. We were on a, a TV show together mm-hmm. called Listen to Your Heart on ABC. Dude, isn't it crazy how <laughs> how it feel like on one hand that feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah. But then it also because of the COVID thing and we've been locked down, it feels like not that long ago. Dude, that the, the COVID time vortex, if you yeah. will. Yeah, it's it's, it's like thing. it's like the slowest, fastest moving period of time. Yeah, it's super strange. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's an interesting way to describe I it. I think yeah. that's what it feels like though, right? It's like the longest, fastest period of time. It's crazy that it's our... What is it? It's the end of October. It's the 17th month of 2020. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. It's already end of October and just feels like nothing has happened this year. It's crazy. (laughs) I remember when when COVID first happened, it felt like, oh, this is like... It's like a uh, school day off, like when a snow day. Yeah. And then you and I, me, you, him, we were playing Xbox every day yeah and it was like all right guys let's 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 play some call of duty yeah and it was like this is really fun yeah and then after a while it was like this is really what's happening sad yeah this is really sad we're getting too good yeah we were really i know we were were nasty for a while and then i we all stopped playing and now i suck well i was never nasty i just relied on you guys you know you were pretty good though i was starting he's really good yeah i'm like okay and then you hopped in and you were like just as good or better than, than I yeah, was. So it was good. You were solid, all. Terrible. solid Trevor, squad you were, member. You were, for solid. Sure. <laughs> you were solid. And then Trevor left. You guys stopped playing. And then started yeah. playing again. Then I joined. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're terrible. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That well, now we've all just been out the game for too long. We've been we've been trying to actually do stuff. Yeah. Which, you know. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> hasn't really worked. But so now we all suck at Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> but to go back to it. So yeah, we were we were on uh, that television show together. Yeah. It, it's, it's so funny because... You know, instant instant buddies mm-hmm. on the show. That's so C- come to yeah, come to find out, we live in the same town, and not only no, that, we can almost throw a rock at each other's place. Exa- exactly, exactly. You live a mile and a half away. Well, from it's crazy because there because there were people on the show literally from all uh, parts of the country. Right. So to be like two hundred feet apart is pr- and and for us to have been like the closest of friends on there. And exactly. Then to, yeah. Wild. 
Super wow. Fate. Some would call the, it the the, the bro the bro gods down. He stepped yeah, in and gods. said, so down. <laughs> the Encino, Get these guys. The we, bro we, gods. We upped we upped the the uh, market in Encino for uh, real estate. I think we did. Us alone. The yeah. Encino boys. <laughs> yeah, the Encino boys. Yeah, Encino exactly. Encino men. Yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Shout out Brendan Fraser okay. and uh, yeah. who else? <laughs> Pauly Shore. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's pretty wild <laughs> that that happened. Um. So. Since the show, mm-hmm. what? To, why don't you give us a little little highlights of what's been going on? So what you've been since, up to? since the show, absolutely nothing happened for me. It was a waste of time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's not true. That's no, not true. No, I mean, on, 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 our <laughs> podcast. Yeah, this, this is it. Podcast. This is, I'm climaxing big, right yeah, now. This really, is it. Really, really quick. Really quick. Which Will's has no name. With the motorcycle. Should we? That's, a, that's okay. You no, know, it's live. It's, fine, it's live. It's live. Baby. It's uh, organic. Yeah. yeah, we got we got so we a got, guy we got the cool motorcycle. toys. He's about know, to hit that throttle. This, house. To this hit was the sound of my career. He's I thought borrowing after it the much. show, like revving up, getting ready to take off. It was like psych, just, COVID, yes. yeah, everything's yeah, yeah. closed down. Yeah. I mean that uh, is, that is something interesting that we should we should definitely talk about. Is yeah. that what a unique experience of us going on a television show, getting yeah. all this crazy <laughs> exposure, right. and then the world turning into a place where you can't even show your face yeah. or play music, which is the two things that you need to do after you go on a TV show to 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 right. build on that momentum. Right, just like total stop. And it's so crazy too. And I and I know you experienced this too when you went home and stuff, but because we were both uh, staying in quarantine. Uh, after we did the show and I kind of like forgot about it so then my first time out in public like months later uh people were like hey you were on that show and I like I was like oh sh-. like I forgot yeah oh like, yeah it was yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know yeah, it's, it's funny man it's, it's crazy. crazy that that it kind of was like that that cosmic joke like slap in the face I, yeah. obviously it didn't just happen to us it, and, yeah. and it f- affected a lot of people in a way worse way but oh, it was just sure, kind sure. of yeah. funny that like you know finally you get a, a really good break and it's like psych you yeah, can't, you yeah, can't but do you know what that. though? At least, at least you got to film it because there's probably a lot of stuff that we, you know what I mean. You got to film it; it we, got released. We, we it got, were the a last people saw it. We were the last network show that w- that was filmed and then aired on like uh, yeah. on network. Because then immediately all production was shut down. Yeah, yeah. all over the world mm-hmm. for yeah. everything. It was yeah. like you guys kind of squeezed in there. So yeah, that's, that's it's pretty wild. You know how that happened. Yeah, just a silver I'm, lining. I have yeah. a question for you guys. How was it? You guys made it to the finals. Yeah. How was that every single time you would advance? Yeah. Was that freaky? Were you like, man, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to do it. Oh, my gosh. I'm um, even closer. I'm three episodes now, two episodes now. I mean, I don't know how. I like think for, for what, when you were there, I think that we had a really good understanding of, of who was doing well. Mm. So, like, I don't. I, I don't, didn't. I didn't? was like, I don't know when the hell I'm going home. Really? I have no idea. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I think that being there, I, I kind of saw. Like how I don't know. I feel like I got to see like yeah, this person's doing good. This is kind of working. That's kind of not working. I I only thought I thought that you and Rudy were gonna win. So when you dipped out, I was like, yes, now I have a shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh man. Well, hey man, no, you did great. You guys did great. Thank you, you dude. Obviously, and, uh, you guys did too. Thank you. Look, you're actually you look at the show. Oh, yeah. you show the camera. You're. Good. Trevor's I gotta have got my a moody merch. Tre- Trevor's got a moody uh, mug that yeah. he's that he's drinking out of, which is pretty. pretty I'm gonna funny. drink out of this literally every day, so I can just. You should just remember it. remember the good times. <laughs> um, no, it was it was a, overall it was a great experience, and it was great that that we got to meet. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you know, we got a lifelong uh, bro bromance yeah, out of it. And not just us. We still have like we have a group chat with uh, a ton of dudes yep, from the show with Chris and and Brandon and Ryan. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All the homies. All the homies. Man, good. T- Speaking of Ryan, why don't why don't you tell us a little quick story oh, about yeah. Did, Ryan? And I forget you heard him too, right? Of course, okay. dude. Me, I woke up and looked at you. Yeah, okay. I was like, yeah, Yo, are you yeah, yeah. are you fucking hearing this? So, so, um, so we all on the show, all the guys, we all uh, bunked together in the same room, and um, it's hot. yeah, it was it was really hot. That was the hottest part of the show, actually. <laughs> God, and, uh, <laughs> and and I hear and and so Ryan was another guy on the show, super nice guy. Um, he was on the bunk below me, and I hear this like mumbling below it's a middle of the night like four in the morning and i hear him below he's in his sleep he's doing interviews like talking so he's like he's like it's really great to be here everyone here's super nice and talented and i look down he's dead asleep on his back just talking like it's really great to be here i love everybody and then matt like looks over at me we we hear him in the middle of the night. we're like what the- Dude, this See, kid, sleep dude, this kid is giving a full on interview yeah. while asleep. Yeah. And I'm I, I so I had made like a barricade on my bunk. 
yeah. to, to make it like dark. So I like I like pull the sheet back and I'm, I see Trevor. Trevor's like looking down. I'm like, yo, what? Who's this yeah. kid talking to? It's three in the morning. Yeah. Pitch black in there. <laughs> like, what's going on? Just he was doing interview, and you could. That's how you know he's a genuine nice guy because even subconsciously, even in his sleep, he was saying nice things. He he's was like, they're really great. I love them all. Everybody's so <laughs> yeah. talented. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just Can you imagine if he was shit talking. He's like, <laughs> it's like they all suck. They're assholes. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody had their phone, so nobody could record it. Exactly. Right? Oh, yeah, man. they take your Correct. phones away. You, they, yeah. That was There's gold. No, yeah. How was that feeling? It was, was wild. Fuck, Young it was men in 2020. Weird, it was very, phone taken away. very strange. Uh, just not being able to, like, you know, t- check in with your parents, mm-hmm. check in with your friends, and that whole thing is, is strange. Yeah. And I'm, I'm definitely guilty. I'm one of those people that's on my phone, like, way too much. <clears throat> so then to have it just immediately stripped of you, the, definitely the first few days, you're like, no, yeah. like you feel like you need it, and then you kind of start to forget about it. And how long was it with no phone? A month. Yeah, about yeah. Four yeah, weeks. Well, yeah. yeah. Like longest you've gone dogs. without your phone. For, oh, hand, oh yeah, and hands ever down. hands down. Yeah, it's too bad that that it was probably a little clouded with just stress, and like you guys were just thinking about the show all the time, and like because like four weeks without your phone would be an interesting experiment. So yeah, like, yeah. Actually I think everyone should be able it. to experience and almost like enjoy. I got to tell you, bit. after like the first two weeks, you kind of forget about it a little bit. Yeah, and and you're like, oh, I'm gonna read a little bit more. I'm gonna. Yeah, that's, that's true. Cool. Yeah, that's true. But that's cool. when you're like, wait a minute, what's that word? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you yeah, gotta yeah. Google can't, something. Yeah. Can't Google it, or yeah. you're like, who was that actor in that thing? And you can't you can't look it up. That that's when you're like, damn. Yeah. One one thing I noticed that was crazy, that was cool, was um. I didn't realize how much I use my phone as a stress. Like if I'm stressed, I'll like go on YouTube or yeah. use it to deal with my stress. So I had to figure out other ways to deal with stress, like doing yoga or yeah. writing a song. Or like, so well, how about cool. not being able to listen to music? Bro. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah, to sure. me, I was like, okay, they're taking our phones away, but they're gonna give us like some kind of <laughs> yeah. MP3 player, yeah. of some sort. But no, nothing. nothing. Yeah, guess Clean. what? No music. No oh, wow. phone, no yeah. TV. We had to make our own music. What? No yeah. weights. Barely, yeah. barely yeah. were able to do it. No weights. No weights. Yeah. Me, me, and, me and Trevor were lifting up friggin' <laughs> stones attached to rings that were door stoppers over yeah, there. Comp- that contributed to your famous, you know, uh, yeah. credits little scene there. That's true. Yeah. That is nice true. Yeah. Right. true. I, I look over, Matt has, there's like these literally ancient artifacts in the in the mansion <laughs> that are probably worth God knows the so amount of money. Fun. And he's using it as like kettlebells and I'm like, damn dude. Hell yeah. yeah. You said that was a door stop. Right? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a $20,000 yeah. kettlebell. Like, no, no big yeah, deal. Exactly. Indiana Jones. Like, literally, yeah. Artifact. Like, act, like actually though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. It was yeah. good. Um, gotta Trev, do what you so gotta do. before we move on to the next thing, why don't you tell us a little bit, because I'm, I'm always... Uh, curious to to learn more about this part of your life because we yeah. never you and I never really talked about this much but you you kind of got a lot of your initial notoriety from American Idol. True, that is true. Yeah. So I so my path of how I started was um uh, so I have like three different waves of where my, like my followers found me on social media. So the, the first one was remember the app Vine. Oh right, yeah, you're yeah. a big Vine yeah. guy. You were a Vine start, guy. Yeah, yeah, dude, big I started Vine on guy. Vine. Uh, so wow. my my roommate at the time, um, we were living together. He comes home one day and he's like, "Dude, you gotta check out this app Vine. It's like six second videos." I'm like, "What the hell am I gonna do?" It's like six seconds sounded weird, like it wouldn't work. And I was watching it, and then I got hooked because there were super funny videos and stuff. Yeah. And at the time, I didn't see anyone doing any music stuff, so. My buddy was like, he's like, dude, people are becoming Vine famous. They're making money. Like, let's try and become Vine famous. So we started doing comedy videos, and we weren't funny, so like, it didn't work. <laughs> um, but he goes, why don't you put up a little singing video? And I was like, all right. So I put up a little six-second hook of a song, um, and I went to sleep that night. I think I had like 80 followers. I woke up the next morning, and I had 80,000. Wow. wow. That's insane. Wow. Well, because uh, Vine was the first one that was – it was so exponential because people could revine videos. Yeah. So they it could it find blew you up. So, I yeah, remember so that. exponential. Like, so quick. Yes, yeah, so fast. Um, Is it still up there? What's that, Vine? Vine? Does no. Does Vine still no. exist? No, it's not, it's not around anymore, yeah. unfortunately. Wow. Somebody so, yeah. wants to bought them, right? Somebody wants to bought them out, Instagram yeah, or something? I think tw- I, f- I forgot exactly what went down, I remember but they Vine, said their dude. overhead was too much and they shut it down. But Well, they're kind of do- re- redoing the Vine thing with like uh, TikTok yeah. and, and yeah, Reels. TikTok is that's basically Essentially, yeah, yeah. It's like the new, day, the new age Vine. But I know. See, I know. I'm up on my social yeah, media. Dude, they were ahead of their time. You guys yeah. talk? Yeah, you guys talk. You guys talk, bro? You talk a little bit, right? So I tried to get into it, and I don't know if this is is true i don't want to be quoted on this but i have some friends that they were getting their instagrams hacked and they said it was through tiktok oh, so boy. i couldn't risk that because a lot of my business is inst- on sure. instagram so i just had to shut it down but wow well hey man i i talked a little bit and i'm like i don't know i don't know what i'm doing i'm yeah. scared 
Yeah. You were, don't trying, know to how to talk, you were trying to woe and you're like, what am I doing? I don't know <laughs> this move. Oh my I punch my, punch I punch the my microphone. microphone. The microphone goes flat. <laughs> it breaks. Yeah, TikTok's strange to me. But anyway. Oh, back, yeah, so, back to uh, American Idol or, or uh, Vine. So Vine, so I, I was doing that for a while. I ended up getting, I think I had like 700,000 followers on there. That's what? crazy. Yeah, it, like, Damn. Just, it just took off. And that was the first time I ever experienced like going out and people being like, oh my God, you're on Vine or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, this is wild. And then, so then um, uh, years later, you know, Vine went away and then American Idol was coming back on uh, ABC. It used to be on Fox. And so they messaged me on Instagram. They're like, hey, you should come in and audition. And at the time, I was like, no, I'm not into it. Um, not that I thought I was too good for it. I just thought like, oh, a singing show? I don't know. Like, yeah. I'm a real musician. Like, I want to do it the real way. I don't know. Yeah, no, no. Um, I, I, I feel you. We've, we've felt the same way about those, those yeah. the shows. So I, I feel you. Yeah. So I, but then they go, um, they go, uh, you know, just come in, audition. You don't have to sign any paperwork. Just have fun with it. And if you like it, we can take it from there. Mm. I was like, all right. So I come in, I audition, and then I didn't hear anything for months. I was working construction with my dad up in Lake Tahoe, and uh, I guess they lost my number, and they were trying to get a hold of me. And they they called me. They go, hey, your live TV audition uh, is in two days. You got to have five songs ready. Like, are you ready to go? And I was like, there's no way. Like, wow. I, I'm up in Tahoe. Like, there's no way. And they're like, oh, that's a shame because uh, they were like, you know, um, Katy Perry saw your audition tape, and she's and super she want- down for you. She's well, no, they they, they were like, they just said, <laughs> they just said she, uh, she she saw your audition tape or something, and she wants to, uh, she'd like to meet you personally, or whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, well, I'm there then. Uh, for yes, sure. I'll yeah. be right there. <laughs> yeah, I'll yes, be right there, yes, sir. I'll be there. And how fast can I drive? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, the joke was not a joke. Uh, Katy Perry was always my like celebrity crush. Like that was literally yeah. my crush. Yeah, yeah. Um. And so then my audition happened, and that went that luckily for me went viral and got me some more exposure. Right, stuff. because well, let's talk about it a little bit because <laughs> let's this. because Trevor's so smoking, S- smoking, <laughs> smoking. He's so smoking, smoking that during his audition, Katy Perry basically couldn't contain herself with how how smoking she thought you were. Yeah, it was wild, dude. It was absolutely insane. Yeah, dude, that must have been a crazy, crazy experience, was, right? Well, I was terrified. I knew I was going to go in there and have to sing like in front of Katy Perry and Luke Bryan and Lionel Richie. Yeah, and like there's all but these really cameras. Katy Perry. You're oh like, yeah, that was the one. Jesus. I was, yeah, because I happening? I heard that day that she was actually the one that was being like the toughest judge, ah. just being brutally honest. And I was like, if she tells me I suck, I'm going to jump off a bridge. Like <laughs> that's the end for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "Don't mess this up." Anyway, so I go in and was not expecting the reaction that I got from her. Like that was wild. That's and, wild. Yeah. So yeah, I crazy. can't imagine. And they there's no there's no microphones. There's no monitors. No. You're just singing a cappella in the that's room, it. right? That's or you had your uh, you got acoustic a, guitar. You got a pocket mic that's like mic'd up here or whatever. But but um, you don't hear. No, it, though, you don't right? hear it. Right. That's so for like just... TV purposes, sure. probably. Right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. Was she like was she dating somebody at the time? Was she with John Mayer at that point? No, she was. She she Ooh. had been with Orlando Bloom. Right. But then she, she was. Uh, oh, she, but Orlando they were separated Bloom. at the time. So she. Dude, you're way more smoking than Orlando Bloom and John Mayer. I don't know about that one, but I appreciate it. Well, but, uh, that's a pretty wild story, Trev. Yeah, and that's pretty cool how you you kind of so so Vine is is no longer. Do you Vine's think, no longer. Do you think you got any crossover from the Vine people? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I I mean, I definitely still to this day I'll be out and people will be like, I used to watch your vines all the time. Um, what were some of your like go to vines that were that were kind of popular? Well, I did a combination of I did like singing ones, and those were really the ones that were like um, building a following and keeping afloat. But I did some. I had a, a Chihuahua at the time. Like our family had a Chihuahua, and his videos were just like going absolutely insanely viral because he was he would he would like give hugs on command and like make oh, weird yeah. noises and stuff. So he definitely boosted my socials. That's, that's a good idea. Yeah. Diversify. Yeah, you get a cute dog. Hey, man, Diversify. Got to hit all the, the markets. The social media there. Yeah. Got to. Got to. <laughs> Cute dogs, yeah. smoking guy playing music. It's and a, then what was it. the other one? It's, it's a com- formula. Comedy, comedy that wasn't you don't think that was funny. wasn't funny. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. whatever. You can't win them all. <laughs> yeah. You can't win them all, kid. Yeah. What I lacked in in comedy, I made up for in dog. So, well, I wish we could right. pull them up and, and play oh, I them. Know, here. Right? I know, right? There's still compilations on uh, on, on YouTube on Pornhub. Yeah. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are different kinds of compilations, yeah. Colin. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not; they're not paying me at all. I got to figure out how to monetize that. But. Oh, oh, yeah. There's a lot of money you're missing out. Yeah, we mm-hmm. should we should do a, 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 a deep dive on your vines at some point, and, and, oh, God. and maybe maybe we'll put some in right here. Oh God, Please look right no. here. Yeah, 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 I mean, no. we, yeah, we totally could. Yeah, we, we could, we're going to do that right we here. This is this right is Trevor's here. Trevor's oh, God, vine right here. Out here. Oh, that's terrible. No, you don't want. Yeah, oh we'll, God, we'll, we'll save it. for you. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, anyway, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Thank you for coming on, and and, and thank you for uh, you know being such a cool dude and sharing sharing your experiences with us. Obviously, you know you know me and you know the guys. We've been out here trying to trying to do our thing, and we've had different little touches with TV shows and things like that. So we yeah. all kind of feel feel the pain that you've gone through with yeah. some of that stuff and, yeah. and and so it's it's cool to talk to you about that that kind of thing no and i'm glad i love you guys i'm glad to be here it's yeah awesome. man we, love you bro we're sad also i know i know you said you're moving to nashville we're kind of sad about that <laughs> but we might come with you yeah perfect yeah which i think this is a perfect opportunity to make a nice segue into our first segment of oh, the I'm evening excited. Spoken. <laughs> uh this first segment trevor is called Guess That Metal Lyric. Woo! Oh, I'm excited. And what we do I had a metal is metal face in high school. So, uh, so yeah, you, yes, I'm you, excited right you now. You got some experience. Yeah. What we do is uh, Nicholas over here, he's a big metal fan. And he and he <laughs> gives us a little snippet of a metal song and we have to try to guess what the what the lyricist, the vocalist is saying. A okay. snippet. And a I think snit-bit. that's, that's a new word. I like that. Yeah. A snippet. I think the 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 thing is different this time. We're we're writing it on this thing. Everything's the same. The only thing is just yes, the actual physical. Yeah, we don't uh, want to show uh, each part, other our the answers. Part of it, it doesn't okay. matter. Oh, okay. It's yeah. all just you write it down. You write down what you think. Oh, we should have, and the, then you show. Okay. okay. At the end, right? are we going to show this camera? It, that sounds. I think that sure. that'll work out the best. Okay. Are are these spaced out specifically for words? They are. Okay. I did that strategically to help you guys out. Small small, like small word, like big word, man. small word, big word. Exactly. Got it. All right. Okay. It's just to help you guys out because it could be it's tough. a little tough. Trevor, it's to tough. To decipher. It's okay. tough. But wait, so do we intentionally have... Oh, never mind. I thought you had a different amount of things there. I was like, you're giving him a leg up. You're going <laughs> to tell him what it is? <laughs> well, he does. Sometimes he gives us hints. Uh, okay. Sometimes well, he gives us the amount of words. Yeah. Yes. Well, here we go. We got the amount of words. We know word. that there's a small word, big word, small word, big it, word. Does this have anything to do with it on the top here? So, <laughs> I didn't even no, see I had that. A, I, had a whole thing. I had a whole thing for it. Okay. Um, Yes. Okay. Should we play our theme song first before I yes. explain it? Yeah, let's do it, dude. Hell I think yeah. that would be smart. Oh, this is off. I'm this scared. is off. I'm scared. There we go. Ready. Guess that metal lyric. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being here. My name is Nick C. Santos. This is Guess yes. That Metal Lyric. That was great. Yeah, I should start Sorry. a metal band, actually. Yeah, we should. Oh, we are. Oh, okay. Oh, we are. Get ready for that. <laughs> oh, I already, my God. already wrote our first single. Now, we can't tell Matt already explained called. the okay. gist of it. What's on your paper is uh, the very top is going to be the theme. The theme or kind oh, of one hint of okay. what he's talking Got about. It. Okay. What is the theme? What one geneticist says to another. You made okay. like a riddle out That's, of it. I like you that. made a wow. little riddle. Okay. All right. You have your four words okay. spaced out strategically to just give you another hint of what the singer is talking about. Okay. All right, let's let Are it rip. Are you guys ready? I think I'm ready. I am so, so fucking ready. excited and so <laughs> ready. This is my favorite segment. This is a pretty fun segment. 100%. The I'm song excited. is called Scum Prophet. <laughs> of course it by is. By the band Hollow Prophet. It's kind of a little self-title in the name, right? Ooh, got Real it. clever. Sick. Scum Prophet. Here Scum we go. Scum Prophet. Here we go. Let's hear it. Guess that metal lyric. <laughs> I got, uh, dude, honestly. So that was only four words? Mm-hmm. That sounded like you said a whole are, sentence. Are we allowed to get it again? Yeah, of we, get, okay. we get it another time, right? Yes, um, you get it as many times as you I'm not ready to guess anything. I think I need to hear one it more time. right away. Okay. Again. Here we go. Guess that metal lyric. Now, now, is the last word drawn out in that screen? Yes. Okay. So take that into consideration. Okay. Um, yes. we get, we're just getting one guess here. Well, just write it down. You know, you could say you could say your guess if you want. You could say it. I've gotten I gotten like nothing. I I, I think I know. Should go I ahead. And, go ahead and yeah. tell the people what you think it is. It's totally fine. It's just uh, a little. It's just a little fun reveal at the end of what I, your final answer. Is. I heard dinosaurs always taste coffee. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> Nailed it! Nailed it! No, I'm just kidding. That Four was good, words. Though. Four words. I'll give you that, one more. Hint. That does sound a lot like what it sounded like, Trev. 
I'll, I'll give you how about the, what about the rhythm of what he's playing is that is that another sure da, da, da. oh wait da, 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 da. that's how he says that's the rhythm that's not, for that every, every absolutely word. doesn't help at all okay fine well, let me play it a couple doesn't. more times play, for you guys play, let's, one let's more play time. one more time one more let's time. let's give our guesses and then yeah move on it sounds like a different language Good evening. It sounds now, like a different language. Remember, the theme is what one geneticist <laughs> says to another. What would a geneticist say to another geneticist? I, I don't even know. I don't even know what a geneticist would say to another yes. one. How's, what, how's your these DNA? These are going to keep getting harder, so get ready. <laughs> I'll play it one more time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. I got one, are, you guys, one, are you guys not hearing yeah, me loud? I don't hear, I hear no, it super loud. I don't oh, hear. No, it's not. I just keep, cannot decipher this what is this person is saying. It sounds so clear to me. It's amazing. It sounds like he's speaking a different language. Com- is it English? It's pure English. All right, let's yeah. go. Uno mas. One more time. Uno mas. Guess that metal lyric. It's horde. It's oh, super horde. It's definitely horde. Oh, uh, I think I know. Actually, what one geneticist says to another, four words, spaced out, kind of specifically. Do 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 do. Guess that Nikki's. Yeah, we need the Jeopardy music. We'll have to add that in. Like Matt All right. Rick. Matt is mad because he can't <laughs> guess the lyric. <laughs> The, the, this is, I don't, you Are you know. ready? If you have your answer, go ahead and reveal to this the This has camera. nothing to do with a geneticist, though. <laughs> you guys, I thought this out this very is, clearly. This is what what I I just put what I heard. It, it makes no sense. Me too. All <laughs> yeah. right, ready? And I'm gonna I'm gonna it go. Doesn't even fit your Matt stupid. Is gonna reveal I'm gonna go for Matt's it. Gonna here. reveal his answer first. My answer is: Doesn't this taste mean? <laughs> doesn't this taste mean? Is what I heard. Okay, okay. Mine fantastic. Was, mine was. Can you take scientist for me? <laughs> oh my, that's more Can than you four. take scientist for me? Oh, that's oh, that's very close. Um, okay. Trev, what do you got? <sighs> I'm lost. I thought I heard something about like Debbie's house is coming. Wow. <laughs> Debbie's house, house is coming. coming. I definitely heard coming. the last word. This is, is unbelievable. All right. So I got doesn't this taste mean? Colin's Colin got, has. can you take scientists for me? Whatever oh the God. fuck. Only one I, the only one I was sure of is coming. And, is the and last. Trev's got coming. Maybe got the wrong coming. Could be the it's wrong just, coming. It's just as coming. coming. Perfect. And for the reveal. Let's hear it, Nick. What is it? What is it? Drum roll. Fantastic. The mutation is complete. Oh. The mutation. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now I hear it. Uh. Now I hear it. I hear it now. Uh, All right, yeah. Damn. You guys get it now? Yeah. You got us, Nick. Yeah. You, I got you. Guys that was really good kid. because you know what? That's actually the first time that we've done this where you've said it, then we've listened back, and then I actually heard yeah. it that time. Because Once, the other ones... The, the very first one was a very well, tough one. That the other ones, hard. Colin, yeah. do, you, do you remember like listening back even after he told us, and, and it still didn't sound like anything? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that one was. It, that I got one, it. That, that one was one really the good. clearest one after the, the fact. mutation is complete. The, we did what pretty good on the last one. What does one geneticist right? say to another geneticist? Sure. The mutation is complete. I get it. That's a good hint. That I thought good hint. I thought it was going to be like a uh, like I like your jeans, like a like a pun. Type That's of, funny. Oh yeah, That's a good jeans. One. Yeah, I that was, was thinking like not a lot of puns. Like, not a lot of puns in deathcore music. That's well, true. they're pretty literal. Pretty literal. I think. <laughs> that was that was really good. Well, should we should we yeah end it with our closing? What was the name of that band? That oh. was uh, really quick. Death Hollow Prophet. Prophet. The shout Hollow out, Prophet. shout out to Hollow Prophet. Shout Thank you guys. That was that was that was horde. That was super horde. All right, ready, boys. Yes. Death. Metal. Fantastic. That was another guess that metal lyric segment that went perfect. Thank you, Nick. I would say. Thank Thanks you. for that. that was a good Nick. one. Yeah, Nick, that was wonderful. Thank That's you. my favy. So, Trev, you my, did you my, did my, my, a total side note. Yeah. So, my, my buddy has a metal band. I think they're called uh, Burning Child or Burning Fetus. Oh. You guys, you should do one of their songs. Hey, either fetus? one is yeah. pretty horde. I'll, I'll figure it, it out. Nick, you got it. You got a fetus. 
No. No, okay. Yeah. That's, that's, right. that's no, when you know the like, other they're like, fetus. That's, that's like yeah. Fiend. They're like yeah. Hall of Fame death metal. <laughs> yeah. Death metal, man. You got to check into Dying Fe- or uh, I think Burning, burning Fetus. fetus. Yeah. Burning Child or Burning Fetus. It's one of those two. It's on Spotify. Trev, you had a little gr- like a little grungy metal kind of period in your Yeah, in your dude. Day? I've got... So I'd love to know if you can relate to this. So so oh, yeah. as, a, as a songwriter, of course, it's great to be able to write all different genres or whatever. Sure. As an artist, one of the biggest things I've struggled with is just sticking to a lane. Just because mm. I, I, I have like music ADD where I'm, I love love so many different things so yeah so anyways i've i've gone through phases. we re- we relate to that yeah 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah yeah so yeah i've i've definitely i was in a reggae band for several years nice i was like my first band band um i did some grunge yeah, you stuff. played me some stuff that was kind of like some like sublime indie, kinda, yeah, yeah indie like stuff though okay. too like indie rock oh yeah I've and i was like yo I've, who's I've, this yeah this is horde i've this done is horde. I've done that too and I, and i want to i want to explore <laughs> i want to explore like maybe Pitching some of that stuff for sync or whatever, since there's like such Why a not, big body right? of stuff that's just sitting. Yeah, there. get yeah. it out there. Yeah. For you have, sure. Are you with a, a publisher? Nope. No, that's what. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the deal. You gotta you gotta hit up a publisher. I'm sure yeah. it wouldn't be uh, difficult for you to get in touch with, with yeah. somebody. That would yeah. probably be what to look for. Because yeah, definitely. That's, <clears throat> that's how you get all those all those placements, and I'm sure. Are you, you guys with a, a cat catalog of songs? Are you guys with a sync company? I thought you were talking. Uh, we have we have a, a publishing company that we do a few things with, and then we're in we're in like the talks with a few different nice. people right now. Hopefully, help us uh, move some of the music along. Yeah, yeah, but well, yeah, we we have a similar situation, Trev, where like we love uh, soul music, R and B stuff, but we also we're huge like James Taylor, John Mayer fans. Of course, so yeah. we do a lot of singer songwriter type of stuff. Right. So the two, those two don't kind of live in the same space, mm-hmm. but there is a way to kind of like have more grooving folk sure. stuff, which is kind of where we end up landing at some uh, on some of the songs. Yeah, I love it. So yeah, yeah. I don't it's, see how I don't see how artists that kind of just stick in their in that lane for mm-hmm. their whole career pretty much. Like, I don't even see how they do that because it's yeah. it is it's like it's almost difficult to do that when. You're listen when you listen to a bunch of different kind of music. It's like it's you know I don't sure. know, something just comes out sometimes that doesn't sound anything like sure. the last. Sure, I song mean you wrote. there's obviously there's the the people who are strictly like strictly country mm-hmm. guys, yeah, and then there's well, like yeah, you know sure. uh, rap artists are right in their their lane. But then there's yeah. like you know that in between like songwritery kind of area where you know you explore it. A little left, a little right, and right. like you know, sometimes you yeah. add a little, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's hard. I think it's harder probably to do that these days, just considering all, all that's out there and like all the stuff that's happening. For it's sure. Kind of like you yeah. gotta like hammer one thing really hard and just mm-hmm. flood it. That with, sounds hot. That's hot. <laughs> that's hot. That's hard. Uh, <laughs> just flood it with like songs and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Like people kind of play by that rule right now. But yeah, we always like. You know the guys like John Mayer who just have their sound and yeah. they take all the all the different genres that they care yeah. about and, and then they, they kind of like them make it sound yeah, yeah. like John yeah. Mayer yeah. went you know he was like you know pop um, I don't know what would you call his like yeah. first stuff pop uh, R and B kind of stuff and then he yeah. went like folk mm-hmm. with that one um, that one album was yeah. Yeah. born and raised yeah. Yeah. yeah but it still had like a John Mayer songwriter <clears throat> sure. kind of vibe to it and right. It was, it was like, it was really cool. It what took about me a the little... switch to the trio too? When he and then the, the trio. Blues oh yeah, the trio, tar dude. trio. Oh, I god. loved that so much. That commercially didn't do that well, but for mm-hmm. me, dude, that was like, yeah. oh my god, this is it. Well, you could yeah. tell I that's love where it. he really just like, that's just what he loves to do. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's what he grew up like, just mm-hmm. rip into like Stevie Ray Vaughan records. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> and like that was probably like a very like self indulgent thing that for he sure. did, and like was just hoping that it would really work out. And yeah. it kind of it was like, right at that time. It was dope. Dude, it was right at that time. Like I think if you did it a little bit earlier, it might it might have worked. But it was mm-hmm. right at that time where music was kind of switching over a little yeah. bit, and he was kind of losing steam with with his uh, original batch of stuff that was killing. Like yeah. like you know uh, uh, why Georgia was on the radio. And no such thing was on the radio all day, and then yeah. it kind of just like mm-hmm. did he do the? Oh yeah, he did off. the trio thing right before Continuum came out, right? Yeah, because there was a couple of yeah. the songs from there on Continuum. Continuum <laughs> yeah. was was the shit. It's one the of the greatest albums out. ever. It's so good. He was actually yeah. at, at Madison Square Garden. He played it from top to bottom. Continuum. I would have loved to have seen that. I think yeah, he did man. it a co- at a couple of different venues. This that would have been badass. Was, yeah, Played it that was the most lights out, out what was album. It, the, the studio sessions one. What was that one? The one with Edge of Desire. All those great tunes. 
Uh, it was he said. Oh, he, he, he said dude, he's, he's a, was, a um, monster. John Mayer, yeah. he's still hot. We yeah, still he's think so, dude, oh, yeah. so John smoking. Mayer. John so Mayer's smoking. the king. And his trajectory, he's he's mastered, like, he's always just keep going and go, like, up, He's up. mastered oh, yeah. not giving a fuck. Yeah. yeah. And, and just making it work. whatever he wants. Yeah. The guy works. tours yeah, with because, the Grateful Dead, yeah, for Christ's sake. And it doesn't care. Yeah. And it's like, whatever. An extreme Super amount successful. of money. I saw him. He has a huge video on GQ of showing his watch collection. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, Hundreds, nasty. millions of he's dollars worth of watches. A big watch guy, a big shoe guy, too. Big shoe guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's the man, dude. And guess what? He's from Connecticut, bro, where <laughs> we're from. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah dude. dude. Damn. He grew up Shout in Fairfield, out. Connecticut, which is like 20 minutes away from where we live. No way. <laughs> yeah, I dude. Not so joke. there's something in the water wow. in Connecticut Apparently. for smoky music boys. John Damn. Mayer, let's hang out. John Mayer, be Please. my friend. <laughs> Tease. Up, bro. <laughs> I, I saw this thing. It's so interesting. I saw it because you would think someone that's at his level um, would just be like so confident all the time and just like not care about anything. And I saw this thing where he talks about where he struggles with his own ego and like sure. if he's at the airport and like two minutes goes by and no one recognizes him, he's like it like ruins his day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's because really? we because we look at him and we're like like you're a legend. Like yeah. there's no way he yeah. feels that way. And yeah. even he talks about even at his level, like he's always he's, you know, he's like got, thinking like oh yo am I losing it? I'm like, losing yeah, 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 yeah. people. Yeah, that like, must care. be crazy. Wow. Dude. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's well, sad. That just, sucks. Not it's not sad, but it's just like that's the that's the game that like it causes that. I'm sure. Sure. He's just so famous. You know yeah. I mean? Oh yeah. Like he just and he's been famous for so long. Like yeah. I don't know when he started to get famous. He was probably like 24. Yeah. And now he's like, how old is he? Like 40 almost. Yeah. I think he's point? 39. 30, I hate to make this observation too. There's new artists that are coming out that are kind of mini clones of his. Yeah. Oh. Sean Mendez. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Sharon. Yeah. See, but to me, well, and then there's the guys that like. Like are mini clones of him in his guitar playing and like all his guitar sounds yeah. and like mm -hmm. he's all over the place. Yeah, his sound he is has influenced now. a whole generation of, of yeah. musicians and yeah. and he really is like a, a music legend. If, whether or not people want to acknowledge it or not, and and hate on him for being like a pop guy, he's a oh. badass yeah, musician. It's undeniable. He's, yeah, he's, undeniable. He's a timeless, so good. timeless talent. I feel yeah. the only people who hate on him for the pop things are probably musicians. There are, yeah. There was, I remember. No, I, I remember mean, like, when... bro, bros do. Like, bro, you look yeah. John Mayer, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah That's yeah. lame, bro. Right. Yeah, I, yeah, that, that I think there's, I think there's oh. probably, there's probably some musician hate, just jaded musician hate. But I like, don't see how I would, could. I He's... would get it more from, yeah, from like, bros that i like my friends in yeah. high school like i was listening to john mayer and they were like yeah you're a nerd bro yeah they're like mm -hmm. john mayer dude like, you, like a girl like <laughs> john mayer that ain't like, hard yelling at his, yeah at his concert because i went to a john yeah, mayer yeah. concert in, in high school yeah. and, like were i was you, getting made screaming in the tenth row? no but like cool. you like they just you know it's just certain people didn't get it because it was just like oh john mayer he's like this like you know, heartthrob like guy mm -hmm. that all the girls love, but like he's nasty and he's yeah. writing so nice. like great. His first three albums were so awesome. All the songs, yeah. all the songwriting was like amazing. It's great, we all know. Yeah, well, people and people that aren't musicians, they just they can't have the same um, respect and understanding that other musicians have for him. Like yeah. they don't realize because they didn't like say, "Hey, let me try and learn this John Mayer song." Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Okay. There's no denying his musicality. He's He's on he's an unbelievable guitar player, great songwriter, great singer, very handsome, super smoking, smoking. yeah, huge hog. You shouldn't have all those things. <laughs> like he's got to have like nine toes. There has something, to be something, something wrong with yeah, him. Yeah, something's going. John, what's going well, on? Had, bro? What's your a, secret? He had a tough time for a while. He he paid his yeah. He paid his uh, his dues. No, I no think. doubt. And then now he's just like then he just went away for a while and now he just doesn't care. Yeah, I feel like. Well, hey guys, boys, don't worry about him. He's rich. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, doing, he's doing much doing better fine. than us. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, let's no move doubt. on from the John um, Mayer topic. Love that, you, John Mayer. Yeah, that that brings me to my next point. We're gonna we're gonna try out a little fun uh, uh, segment, which is your weekly dose of nostalgia. I'm gonna Love. I'm gonna play this little sound clip here. And it might be a little loud. Nostalgia. nostalgia. It's called oh, nice. Remember That Shit. Takes me right back. And this is a segment where we dive deep into some some nostalgic thing or a TV show or item. Mm -hmm. And this week, just for you, Trev, I got some some Dude, items I'm so we excited. could so we could look at them and and play with them. So those of you who are just listening <laughs> audio wise, 
You might not. We'll see be very that. descriptive. Sorry. You might not see these things, we'll but you could you yeah. could watch it on YouTube mm-hmm. and you could see it. But either way, we're gonna we're gonna describe them for you. You know, what I, you know what I'm curious about? Because we grew up uh, on different parts of the United States, so I'm curious if there are certain items that I'll be like, "What's that?" And I, I even doubt know. it. I doubt <laughs> it, bro. Where did you grow up? I grew up uh, in in Thousand Oaks. Uh, you know, oh, okay. in Thousand Oaks. Yeah, so oh. close to LA. Yeah, I, I grew up in the Bay Area, so I'd be oh, in the nice. same mode as them because I'm it. not East Coast. Okay, Got all it. right. For this first one, I'm going to put it in your hand. I'm going to put one in everybody's hand. Just relax. It's not anything bad. And just, just, just. When close, I say, close your eyes. Yes, close your eyes. Just, just when I okay. say, I want you to. Oh, I know exactly what this oh, is. I already know what it is too. <laughs> I, I want you to no open way. it up. I know what this is. I want you to open it up. Ew, it's like slime. It's just relax. It's, it's, a, it's a little slimy. What, I think I know what it is. Open it up. I know exactly what it is. Am I supposed to look? Open it up, dude. Am I supposed to look? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, knew it. Knew it was exactly. All right. So now dude. I want you guys to explain what you're seeing. I'm going to show this to the uh, GoPro camera. This is those uh, elastic throwable sticky hands. That you, yeah, you, they, you, yeah, you, you fling like it against the wall. And it sticks, or you but fling it against like usually, your sister. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you in the back put some seat of the weird car. amount of change, like thirty five cents into like a that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I was gonna things. say they used to sell them in <laughs> at a Pizza Hut. I mean, you know, I'm slap you. I slap you. I slap I'm you. hoping that this looks as cool as got, I think it looks on yeah. this GoPro right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have, everybody just kind of yeah, like yeah, yeah. fling it towards the GoPro. <laughs> Look at mine. Oh. Have, you uh, got, no, have you guys ever have you guys ever taken one of these in the eye? Because I definitely have. Oh yes, dude. Of course. He started lots of fights. Um, for those of you who are listening and not watching this. Sounds very weird. We all have <laughs> uh, those it. those rubber Slap. hand things <laughs> that they they uh, they're like elastic the booger noodle yeah, kind of things. It's, mm. it's terrible. And yep. they uh, they have yeah. a hand on the end of it that it's sticks like, to stuff. It was like ten tickets at I don't your know local what these are arcade called. after you well, exactly one, spent ten you, tickets. You know yeah. What I mean? yeah, you get these at uh, yeah. at the arcade. It was for right sure. next to the like little army parachute guys. Yeah, and, and like the, the homies. Remember the, the homies? Oh the yeah, Chinese dude. finger yeah. traps. Oh, now, the homies now, were cool. Can you can you know those are coming back? Collect Can you can you can you get that and and grab it? Oh, dude. Oh, oh I oh, stole an interception. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Just, yeah, just no way. Oh, Nick. Damn, wow, dude, this is kind of so, oh, this is kind of useful, so, dude. So did you guys remember if you'd leave them sitting out for a while, they'd start to collect dirt on them? So yeah. after like three oh, days, they they're not sticky anymore. Yeah, they were like yeah, dusty, no like a dusty, like gross mess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You still slap people well, with them. There yeah. you go. That's the first uh, bit of nostalgia for you, Trev. You could, wow. today you could keep understand. that. I'm gonna keep. It. I know that's the thing. How simple, but how fun. Love yeah. it. Was it like hours of fun, just just throwing this thing around. Yeah, this but we were good... but we were doing this, going like, man, I wish I could play something on a giant. Man, I wish yeah. I, yeah. I, I wish I had a PlayStation. Yeah, and yeah. I wish I could make a TikTok. I wish Xbox <laughs> existed. I wish I could make a six second video. This is uh, super notable. For this me. is a good like you know COVID time waster kind sure. of. Also COVID collector probably. Probably All right, collector. here's All here's COVID. item number two. Probably okay. not the most sanitary. I'm gonna put no. it in the middle of the table here, okay. and then we're all gonna just pass it around real quick. <laughs> Are we? Eyes Tell closed? me if you guys remember this. Are shit. we eyes closed? <laughs> yeah, eyes closed. Okay. Everybody, eyes closed. Shit? Do you remember this shit? Remember this shit? Not looking. Go ahead. Open your eyes. Oh, <laughs> Wooly Willy! You, I never even knew it was called Wooly Willy. I just remember it's a ma- v- magnetic pen yeah. with little shards of magnet in it. Yeah, and I absolutely you, remember those. And let me show this camera real quick. Wooly here. Willy is a suggestive name. <laughs> and you, what you do is you draw the magnet uh, shavings. That's go ahead, right. Trev. No, Why don't I, you oh, go dude, ahead I, and make a little drawing? I remember. Yeah, um, um, and you put like see, that's a mustache. That's terrible mustache to give him. We shouldn't have that one. <laughs> that's not a good Hitler stash. Yeah. Yeah. Just, make, okay. just okay. make him Hitler. Trevor we, went right we for all the Hitler stash. We all, we all get to Hitler, add dude. one feature. We're gonna pass it on. Okay? Oh, that's so a I'm great, gonna, Trevor. That's a great idea. I have. I, I'm an idea guy. So, so yeah, guys. I'm uh, actually giving him that. He's bald, but he's got the uh, oh yeah the side the cul de sac. Costanza. He's got the Costanza. Costanza. Beautiful. This guy looks like Guy Fieri right here. All right, that's Flavor Town. He's got sunglasses. Yeah. That's that's my addition. I gave him the. That's really good. Go ahead, Nick. Go yeah. ahead, Nick. Let's do it. Um, so for those of you who are just listening, yeah, again, we're drawing on this guy's face. We, we have one of those. It's called a Wooly Willy, and it's like I said, it's magnetic shavings. And um, if you don't know what this is, and then you no, you didn't you, know what it you is. didn't have a you didn't grow up you know in my time in our times. Yeah, I bet you kids after like two thousand wouldn't even know what this is. You think that's crazy. Man, you might be right. I, it's got. I think kids our age would 
still thought this yeah, was like yeah you know, all right dude kids kids our age where this was that was yeah like i'm end. not saying it's like the best thing i'm saying do you remember this shit the oh yeah end, i remember uh, this yeah i yeah i could see kids these days not knowing what the fuck that is all right give me this bro what I'm are you on. doing over here yeah, with picasso so stupid. they'd be like yo man, it's give me back my stat- nintendo it's, switch it's kind of similar because this thing sucks I'm, i gave him some macho man i'm giving him just a soul patch hell yeah look at that there you go con i gave him a nice little soul patch Kind of like that. Reminds me of the Etch a Sketch a little bit. Remember Etch a Sketch? Yeah, of yeah. course. That that might be that might make oh, it no. on. Oh no, is that in there? You just ruined it. Oh no, <laughs> just ruined my segment. So Give him one uni- eyebrow. Uni- okay, perfect. <laughs> unibrow. The unibrow. This guy's hot. Oh, is it unibrow hot. or is it unibrow? It's really good. Um, Depends where you are. I kind of want to. I kind of want to show the camera. But yeah, here, look. Let's just pick this one up. You know what? You know what I mean. You know what? Let's just see if that. You know, hopefully that gets it. Maybe we do. There you go. Doop, doop, okay. doop, 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 doop. That's what we drew. It's, bad. it's really good. It's not great. That's uh, and then look, and then he's, he's and then yeah. he's uh, Butterbean, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Butterbean. He's just like a clown after he took his makeup. So that was that oh. one. We got we got a couple more surprises in here. Wow, right. you got a whole like goodie bag of stuff. In All right, here. now this one, this one, I don't think uh, there's a chance that you guys might not know what this is, but for me, this was like a thing that I had. That that brings me back to my childhood, and it's it's not a butt plug, is it? No. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Oh, dude, of course. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, I remember you, those. You got to try and with the air bubbles, you bounce them up, it or the the water, you bounce them up. Exactly, in the, dude. Yeah. Exactly. So you, did you just have a good day at an arcade, and you just bought? Yeah. That's what this pay- kind of is. So look, this is you, you you press this button, it's water, and you try to get the uh, the balls into the hoop there, and then the one that Colin has. Uh, is rings? It's yeah. You got to get the ring. You got to get the oh, yeah. You get the yeah. rings on the. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then you, you then you slap it with <laughs> the, the, the hand thing. Ah, yeah. oh, I remember. Almost this. got it. So yeah, so uh, it's it's a water. I don't know. What, what, how do you call? What do you call this thing? <laughs> it's a water ring. It's like situation. a game. It's like a, g- a ring. Yeah, water say, ring toss. Amazon. Yeah, water ring toss. Water ring toss. That that sounds right. Oh, bang! Oh, had Trademark. It. So that's oh. uh, there you go. There's another one. I just got a three. Point. This is fun. Yeah, see, I told you, you guys were like fun, Dad. Do this All right, guys. Hours. Thank Dad. you for tuning in. We're gonna come back to you later. I got two Dad. more things in here. Oh, I see. Nick's is like the basket, dude. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah. dude that's I'm pretty dope. I'm swishing right dude, now. Dude, I'm it's killing it. On kind this, of insane. All right, guys. Like Ready? Yeah. Here's the next thing. Do you remember this? Gak. Gak. Oh, yeah. Gak. Wait, is this dude, the Nickelodeon one? This is Nickelodeon original OG Gak. I found it on. Uh, Do you remember the one you on put Amazon. in the cup and you make it fart? This literally it. says "fart it" on yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fart, fart it. it. Did Stretch you ever do that? Freeze it. Bubble it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You put it in the cup and it farts like yeah. crazy. We're gonna pop this open and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hand this out to you guys. Gak. Do you now? Is this you gonna must... dissolve when you open this? Is this from like ninety five? It might. It might. <laughs> you it just, it just explodes. You just... must remember the the Gak story of your Gak, your own Gak story. Oh, oh. Uh, when we were in Disneyland, when we were in Disney Universal World? Studios. Or tell, whatever. tell, remind me, remind me of this. I, this story. is one of my earliest memories. I don't know how old we were. We must, I must have been like six or seven years old, and you were like, you were like, uh, you know, I don't know, ten. And do the math. We were at Universal Studios, and there was like the Nickelodeon, like you know, section. I right, we were at yeah. Universal Studios. Yeah. And they were doing like a t. Te- they were like broadcasting like a TV show, and there was yeah. all the all the kids, and they had like the guy. Uh, w- do you remember who? What guy? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was like a Mark. Uh, was Mark, it Mark? Mark Mathers or Mark Mark, uh, Mark Camel or Summers? Mark Summers. Mark Summers. It was Mark Summers. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, whatever. Whatever the Nickelodeon guy was at the time, the Double Dare guy. I yeah. Think. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the girl was Summer Sander. Summer. Summer Sanders. Oh, Summer, Summer Sanders. Sanders. Yeah. <laughs> so he's up there. He's got. He's like, oh, you, you, and you come up on stage, and Matt gets picked to go up on stage. And we're all like, oh my god, he's on TV. And then. <laughs> And then um, he's like, he's like, we got this new thing. It's called Gak. Like everybody, take one and like smell it. Tell me what it smells like. And then, oh no. And then he was like, Susie, what is it smelling? She's like, it smells like cherries. And then Matt was like, he was like, Matt, what does it smell? Like? He's like, kind of smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, think that's what happened. That's, that's exactly what happened. Said shit on the camera? Yeah, he said that's it on TV. How, and you were ten, and they were like, uh, nothing, nothing. Bobby changed. Renato, uh, was you get away with that? Well, yeah, nothing. I got, I got in a lot of trouble. I, you know what? I think I, I was gonna say it smells like poop or crap, but I was like, or, I'm just gonna go for or it. Or was it? Do you tasted it? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Tastes like shit. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Like shit. But I said, sh- I, I said it. shit. I wasn't supposed to say shit. Like, okay, Very well, this whole thing is scrapped now. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? This hey, was it was funny. The, the look on the guy's face was like, 
priceless. So. Yeah, yeah. Th- this cost us a hundred grand in nineteen ninety four. Oh, so. It was an <laughs> epic moment. I'm also for me. having such a hard time opening this. Uh, I'm glad. Do you, that want, I, do you want to try that? I'm glad I could waste some time with that story yeah, for you. Uh, oh, okay. I got Maybe it. You got to kind of just crush it. Oh, can you fart, fart it in this? In that? In oh that. yeah, probably. All right. So here's GAC. If you guys don't know, it's a flubber-like <laughs> material that stretches. And like, I don't know why when you were a kid, it's kind of like uh, this was like the thing. They gave is, you like goop. This to is play a with. huge thing now, though, with kids. They make their own. Yeah. Oh that's yeah. True. I oh, saw yeah. like on TikTok. And I've they seen sniff those. it. Yeah. And then they yeah. eat it. <laughs> oh, it smells pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't smell like shit. No. Smells like no, my childhood. Oh. Yeah, it does smell. Wow, you got smells original like, gap. Yeah, dude. It what do you like I didn't even nostalgia. know they still sold this. Probably um, worth money. Making a comeback. Here you go, Getting guys. all over uh, my hands. This is not. You know, oh, give that a shot. Elements oh, of this yeah, product may when cause you, cancer. It's kind of wet when you first <laughs> Yeah, yeah. For sure. I mean, just what? I think you could fart it in your hand. I think you go like this, if I remember right. You go oh, like, yeah. You go like. Yeah. Oh, sh- you're right. Trap, you lost your technique. I lost my touch. Try two fingers. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> would you like to try? No, I'm good on that. What do you mean you're good? I touch, touch the gack, bro. Yeah, give me a good touch. Uh, yeah, it. I'm good. Dude, it all I'm like, saying is like it feels like 1997. That's yeah. exactly what it feels like. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling yeah. nostalgic. Yeah, I, rem- all, I remember. All I'm saying is like, w- oh, you got like an extra wet. It's all like, like all over. Yeah, me. I remember. I remember it being wet when you first opened it. it was the like green pretty... ones, like that one's like coming apart in your hand. Yeah. It's look, look, you look, look like you just it's like neon. Look like you like you just jerked off Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His hands are covered in orange. It's that's like, why I said radio that. Guys not. Um, well, thanks for that. Yeah, so that's the GAC. Uh, the, it's, it, it's just so funny to me that this was like what they were giving to kids and being like, yo, go play with this. And not expecting me to eat that. Right. How am I not gonna eat that? I'm hey, right. eating this. Hey, like Tide Pods. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I want to eat it right now. Like those were like the, the, the Tide, the tide Pods. That? Those were the Tide Pods of the '90s. You know, kids yeah, are exactly. eating Tide Pods. Yeah. Bro, I wasn't, bro, it, oh, kids bro, it bounces. Yeah. It bounces. Yeah. Sick. Oh, okay, not not that much. <laughs> not that much. <laughs> well, remember Flubber, dude? I just was gonna say, remember, remember Flubber? Remember that exactly shit? That rest in, of, rest yeah. in peace, Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Love that guy. The Robin Williams thing, dude. That was like the 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 celebrity that most like hit me when he when died yeah. that was like that was hard. yeah he was like our whole childhood it, right yeah i'm glad that i'm not the only one that was like super oh dude out. it was so it was I so watched, sad. there was a um, documentary they made on on yeah that inside thing, rob was, williams mind which thing. Was, yeah which yeah. was super super crazy but anywho super sad anyway let's let's we keep it let's keep it light with the nostalgia here i feel like we we're failing by not making this fart We'll, I know. We'll yeah. get there. Would somebody just fart in real can, life. Can, can, someone, YouTube, can someone YouTube have a fart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got one more bit of nostalgia for you guys. And and this is going to be who actually spent the most time doing this. And we'll be able to tell pretty pretty immediately. Okay. Jerking off. N- no. <laughs> okay. And if you're like me, you brought this to, to class with you. And every chance you got, you broke this out and you tried to. You tried I know. To, I already know. What I it know is. what it is. Yeah. Well, well, okay. What do you think it is? Okay, you want me to say? Yeah. What do you think it is? I think it's a yo-yo. Oh no! I was gonna say it's that thing where you put the ball up on. It's like got the ball on the rope and you. No. Nope. Oh, uh, a ball in the cup. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nick, you got any guesses? This is something you brought to school every day. I would day. bring this. It would be in my pocket all the time, and I would break it yep. out and just try to like. Get better at. I'm thinking yo-yo. Yo-yo Chinese too, finger trap. Nope. <laughs> thinking yo-yo. Yeah. I put it on my Look, right. I'm stuck again. I you can't guys ready? I'll figure this out. You guys ready? Yeah. Tactic. Oh, oh, bro, tactic. I can. I can. Pull I could a oh, okay. on it immediately. Okay, come on, Trev. Ready? Wait, wait. Get it. Get it so you could definitely. Wait, let me see if I could. It's been a minute. I used to be able to do like a, heel, uh, a nollie heel flip. Let's see. Oh, oh. damn it! Wait. Trevor's got skill. Oh. It's, been, it's been a minute. I got to so, brush up. So we have a tech deck here, which is, uh, for those of you just listening, it's a mini little tiny uh, skateboard. That you, the, a fingerboard, if you will. And you... Fingerboard. <laughs> do you remember, did you mess with these when you were a kid? No. Really? No. This was not a thing for you? No. Is Carl? that regulation size? I, I was never what able to do. I, I couldn't even ollie. <laughs> I always saw the, the com- weights. I always off. saw like, the commercials for those and saw how cool. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Well, then you guys were losers no, because this I, shit was the best. I couldn't. We were losers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, losers. I had them. I just couldn't do anything. The, I the would, posers it's like a regular skateboard. The too. posers would ollie with. They put the thumb underneath, and you're like, Oh, oh yeah, bro, like dude, doing? look, look how yeah. look how high I just yeah. made it, ollie, dude. Yeah, yeah. Wait, try an ollie. Do an ollie. It's tough. It's hard. It's hard. I keep that was that was me. I couldn't. It's ollie. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, dude. It is hard. I'm hard. What's that deck? What, what, what's the bottom look like? 
That looks cool. Pretty cool. Have but, you seen? Cute. Have you seen the YouTube videos of like the pros that are oh, yeah. ridiculous? Yeah, they're like they, gr- they grind and they kick flip yeah. off the I'm grind like, and they land it. Yeah. Like, Wait, friggin- pros? <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Professionals. There's a lot of money in it. Pro tech deckers. Um, yeah, or they're pro skateboarders. No, no, no. Also, no, are nasty. No, at tech pro deck. tech deckers. Yeah. And what That's are they? Thing. And they have competitions like like regular like what who can do yeah they have trick? many skate parks yeah they have and like they, the whole thing they rail set up no yeah, they're so good can we pull can we like pop? we're gonna pull we're gonna pull it up we're gonna put put a little bit of it you wanna pull it up now I'm gonna pull it up now yeah okay you guys, sure. you guys continue talking Matt check this let's out already yeah do dude let's see Trev oh sick oh, moves yeah. <laughs> Nick you are unimpressed you with this come on it's hard it's harder than it looks I mean it's cool I, I definitely know what this is I just never had it when I was a kid you know dude I love the tech day Oh, there you go. I just landed something. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That was pretty good. Look at that. I just did, what is that, a kickflip or something? Oh, it's a 360 that? Ollie, dude. 360 Ollie, dude? Look at yeah. that. You're a natural. Oh, wait a minute. 2011 oh, shit. Yeah. U.S. Fingerboarding Championship. That sounds about right. Fingerboard. That's probably They're the last nasty. time. God. They're nasty at it. That's probably the last time this was relevant. <laughs> 2011. It happens in the arena right next to eSports Gaming. Uh, Needless to say... This is a this is a uh, let's skip that ad there. Kyle. Uh, go ahead and skip that ad there. We uh, we're that. pulling up tech is deck. Is that Tony Hawk? Look at that logo. Look at Tony Hawk. Pulling up the tech deck competition from 2011. This looks like a like a documentary on the friggin' thing. Do you guys let's skip ahead here. Oh, here we go. We got the action. Here's some action. Oh, God. Wow. That's pretty badass, dude. <laughs> at a skate, they're at a regular skate bar. That's so funny. Yo, I said skate bark. It, it, it's really hard to do this stuff. It like, really to is. actually get the the look at this. Nah, that was a good one. That was to get the one. board off the ground and That's to not good. use yeah. your thumb at all. Like I remember now. Yes, yeah, I had See some guys? friends that were nasty at this. Chris Stockland was look, nasty at this. I, I'm sure. Look at like, Chris cool was, guy. Is a, is a really he's good, good at skate. He's good at really skate. Yeah, you kind of you kind of oh, oh, have to know oh, the physics of skateboarding to be really good at this. Probably right. I mean, it's kind of the same concept. Oh, that kid's. Can they cheat? Can they put like some adhesive on their fingers? Right. I'm sure. They do, them. yeah. They, they regulate them. Yeah, <laughs> they put chalk on it. Yeah, so it's extra slippery. Put some performance some, uh, enhancing. Uh, they use a sticky pine tar hand to get on some there. Stickiness first. Yeah, Look maybe at the GoPro following it. That's always uh, going back and reverse. I wow. gotta tell you, this is pretty. This is pretty damn impressive. I'm not. It, gonna lie. it is pretty. This guy's flip nose blunt oh, slide. This kid. Look at that kid. Dude, this guy fucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're dabs. They're like, Yo, nice, nice run, bro. <laughs> it's that was a sick run, dude. Yeah, he finishes, dope. he wipes his forehead like, Fuck yeah. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, that was dope. All right, well, we've seen enough. Well, that yeah. was cool. Um, so See? yeah, there you go. Tech deck. Uh, I spent many times in class messing with that thing, and then I would drop it. And it would make a noise, and the teacher would, Matt. Are you playing with the skateboard thing again? And Did you get yelled at a lot in class? All the time. Yeah, I feel like all the time. I can I, see that. I honestly like. I, there was never <laughs> one class that that I made it through without getting my, my name called at uh, least one time. I wouldn't expect anything less. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was a brutal. I was. I was more just like I didn't want to be there, so yeah. I would just try to make it as fun for me yeah. and for whoever was around me, <laughs> like and just just you know do stupid, goofy, fun. I get it. Fun shit. I yeah. get it. That's what's up. Like I did, like like math class, math when it when they started adding letters to it, I was out. I was completely, yeah. yeah. A- X equals parentheses, and then there's there's. Right. I'm like, I don't want to hear any more about this. And 99 percent of people will never use that math in their yeah. life ever, unless no, you're never an engineer or yeah, I based. astronaut. Yeah. I <laughs> if I tried to do a long division problem written out without a calculator right now, I don't think I. Could. I don't think I could either. I if I tried I to do, a, to do a short division like problem, grade. I probably I could wouldn't fail. Really, well, long division? Long division with this with the thing. The longest and you gotta division. You got to do it with a piece of paper with no. Nobody calculator. does long division like I do long division. Is that Damn. for real? That's yeah, hot. I better believe it. That's oh, hot. There's no way I can prove it right now, which sucks, but I definitely do that. Oh man, I don't know. Maybe we could. We'll, we'll test. We'll test this out. I remember. What, well, it, no, we got to do it now because he can go and learn, relearn how to do it. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna just go <laughs> download. The I think we're just gonna have to take your word for I'm it. Nick. Plug into the matrix. But I definitely it, have tried. All right. Oh, you know what? It when it was, it was when I did the voice and. You were gonna go on the show, and you had to take a. Um, you guys probably had to do this too. You had, you had to do to long division. A, you had to take a, like a psych eval. Oh, yeah. of course, yeah. 
And one of the things was a long division problem. What? We, they did not. Yeah. They did no smarts. Nobody, are not required to be nobody on would this have show. made it on our show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If they made us do <laughs> long division, I don't know why it was. It, that's it, weird. I th- I'm pretty sure it was part of the psyche valve, and it was a really. It was like a hundred. It was probably that was probably just like a general like IQ. Whatever, yeah, whatever uh, it was, and I was like. Thing. I can't do division. That's crazy. Wow. This is crazy. I remember wow. in elementary school, I, I asked my teacher, I said, you know, why do we have to learn math um, if we can just have a calculator? She goes, you're not going to always have a calculator with you. Uh, Fast forward 20 years. Yep. Everybody yeah. has a calculator Little with them at all Little did you time. know, Mrs. Smith. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. And now yeah. I don't know how to do my taxes or yeah. make a yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Or spell yeah. anything. Or spell anything. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is actually segueing kind of nicely into one of That's the true. cyber boy uh things for today that's true hang on so, one second there you know speaking of of all this stuff wow i'm dead all right, that was a little loud <laughs> sorry that was a little you just scary. witnessed our death <laughs> okay what oh wait i gotta get ready for this yeah go ahead cyber boy he's got the tech news good evening everybody <laughs> I'm Cyberboy. I uh, am going to bring you the latest in tech news. So the the thing that I was talking about was, number one, Google's new Pixel Buds, earbuds, that translate other people's, like uh, people speaking other languages. Oh, in real time? Live, live translate. No way. <laughs> So it's like Star Trek, how they have the like thing, the universal translator that they wear, and like any alien language, they can like hear, wow. you know, they, they can understand it. So they, these things, I guess what what these things, from what I understand, they um, they connect to your, they Bluetooth to like your phone or your iPad or something, right? Mm-hmm. And then you can like put them into translate mode, and then somebody's talking to you, so they have an, uh, a microphone or yeah, access to the microphone on this. I don't know, what, probably both, um, but. And it just types it out for you. So wow. you're literally like sitting there with your phone and somebody's like, oh, konnichiwa. And then you're like, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, I understand you. How wow. sexy that's pretty, is that? That's pretty bad. Now, is there is there a feature that, that you can, when you want to speak back, can you translate like Let's uh, find out. I don't right? know. Well, does it, yeah, does it uh, kind of like... Uh, what if it hears the audio you and then translates types it out them. on the phone and then you show the? I would think that's phone. probably yeah, that's probably that what person happens. Reads it and says back, and then your translation comes. Real time translation when paired when paired with the Google Translate app, these earbuds are able to translate dozens of languages in real time. All you have to do is say Google help me speak Spanish to launch conversation mode in the app. Then you will hear the translated message directly through the Pixel Buds. Oh, okay. So you can you can speak your own thing into it too, and it'll translate it for you. And yeah. then you could I guess that's how it probably works. Look at that. That's bad. That's the future, boys. You know what I thought of? The first thing I thought of, because you know uh, when you're talking about the dating pool, there's eight billion people in the world. True. Right? So many of them are eliminated because there's a language barrier. So the first thing I thought of is when you're traveling, now you can talk to women from everywhere yeah. Yeah. or men or whatever you're into. My Taking man. like a solo like trip, backpacking trip, just got that much like yeah. you know, easier through yeah. through solo like, backpacking. Europe. Yeah, you can know you what translate I mean? bear? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you talking to on talking your about, solo backpack? Well, you don't only back pack through like the woods <laughs> in Europe that, that was backpacking I, Nick, through my, Europe my head went to the same thing as you in a backpack like walking through the <laughs> you're woods trying, like, you're trying to and you're like, talk oh. a bear out of killing you come in peace uh, <laughs> please don't please kill me like, translate to bear <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes um, wow that's pretty that, how, now what's the price point of this uh, fancy contraption I don't know that's I, I would question. say it's probably pretty expensive uh, each model costs 179 without accessories right. that's not bad that's really it's like bad. airpods that's yeah. Yeah, it's like they look like accessories AirPods include too. the charger. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just, <laughs> accessories just like include iPhone. bear mode. Bear mode. Bear translation. Oh, so. uh, <clears throat> there you go. It says something about says uh, Apple, what does it say about Apple cheaper. AirPods? They're cheaper than Apple oh, AirPods. Oh, okay. but do they, they act also as just regular? Yeah, uh, they're they're earbuds. They're buds. Just regular earbuds. Oh, oh that's oh, pretty, that's they. That's pretty but awesome. But they, I guess it's the app that really allows them to sure. to to do what what it is. I so, mean, it kind of it's kind of the same as like you go on Google and you type in a Google Translate. You type so can you, you do want. this right now with with earbuds? <clears throat> you can I, do this with these right now. 
No, can you no, do this with, with regular AirPods? AirPods? I think I what he was saying, if you have the Google Translate app, do it with regular That's AirPods. Uh, I bet there. you could. I don't know. It should be able to mm. translate. We just found a workaround. They must. No, these they things must are have, trash. Don't buy them. <laughs> they must have <laughs> made this exclusive to just you have to have these ear earpods. Otherwise, what? Why? What well, would they do? Well, you have the, you have those apps, right? That you can like speak into, and it'll mm-hmm. translate. Translate apps. Yeah. yeah. Those things. Yeah. Those apps, right? So if you were on a if you were on a solo backpacking trip, you could just put the phone right up to the the bear. Or the beaver. Yeah, or it's the kind of the monk. same thing. I think it's pretty much well, the same. Or the reticulated python. That's pretty anyway. cool, though. <laughs> Those are cool. Those, Those are pretty, pretty cool. It would be cooler, I think, if in real time, while the person was talking, it was translating it into your ears into English, and it was like saying- Is that not what it does? I think uh, it does. No, no I, I thought it, you said it, you have to read it. I think it must it must read it in, it must read it to you like the oh, talk okay. to text or the um you know whatever the gotcha. the, gotcha, the gotcha. auto reading thing but so at the same pretty, time it, cool. it puts it in front of you so you can read it now, now hmm. sc- scroll up again there Carl scroll what up do you again. got this one and yeah and 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 so now what now what application do you think this is just normal she's yeah, at but, the gym she's 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 at, the it, gym. She's, she's at an international mm. gym mm. and. She wants to she's, at, find out where the locker room she's is. She's wrapping her hands though. She's about to like beat some ass. She's at the spar. local Muay Thai club. Yeah. She's ready to I think oh, she's about to Muay Thai club. Beat think, some international ass. Yes. Yeah. I think you're right about that. Yeah. She's just trying to hey, she's trying to find out who wants a lot of the this, fight game wants is talking hands. crap. Yeah. And now she can understand. <laughs> yeah. Anyone talking crap, she knows. <laughs> who wants to throw hands, Google? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want this smoke? <laughs> yeah. There are 20 people nearby who want that to want throw smoke. She is sweating profusely, it looks like. Uh, I'm down. Good workout. I'm, um, down. I'm down. I hope those are waterproof. <laughs> that's that's hard. That's hot. That's yeah. pretty so. Hard. There you go. That's a little uh, oh a little segment for you called uh, Cyber Boy. Hold Thank on, you. I got another one. I oh, got you got another one. one. Oh, oh. In oh, honor. I'm ready. Of Tra- Wait. Oh, well, uh, maybe this is in honor of Trevor. Trevor, do you surf? I do. You surf. I, I knew. Do. I thought you surfed. Is this? Can I guess what this is? Ch- tell me. Is this? Um, is it a, a fin that has a propeller in it, and you don't have to paddle? And you, it's kind. I think it's kind of like wow. that. I think okay. this is a, have like a like a um, like a jet ski one, like a oh. jet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen. I, I've seen this. I've seen so, this. Is this what Zuckerberg? Uh, thousand bucks. It's called U Jet. I just it was saw ten thousand bucks. Oh no. Okay, that was. Something I else. just saw this uh, this morning. So now this is yeah I've seen these. This Where's is the, the thing video? that Zuckerberg Dude, got caught in. Remember that yeah, that, yeah, that picture yeah, where he had yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he had so sunscreen. much face sunscreen yeah, on. I saw that, and he oh, was yeah. caught ripping on this thing. Yeah, there ripping. must be a video in here. Yeah, he he looked like uh, like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Yeah, but it was sick though. What Wait, Zuckerberg can surf? No, no he can do this. <laughs> he uses the UJ. Oh, it is a lot of grand. See, I thought it said ten grand. All right, let's see. Oh, the one he does. Who's who's got ten grand for this? Honestly, though. not only can I do long Bro, division, but I no... have ten grand. Are you serious? There's no <laughs> way. I don't believe either one of those things to be true. Not only can I do long division, have ten grand, but I can also surf. Those are three three lies in a row that you just <laughs> spouted out of your uh, mouth. I yeah, I can't. I can't do any of those things. I don't have and can't do any of those things. Uh, the the, uh, the internet out here is. Pretty sick. pretty sick. Um, yeah, no, we get the point. I get, I, I we get it. We yeah. got the point. So, it's so a, it's a, it's a surfboard that's got a. Uh, ele- it's electric. D- it doesn't need gas, and it's, it's got like the. Oh, it's jet, electric. It's got the jet ski technology. Yeah, no. So like it's not uh, that pre- thing. Propeller. I saw those too. There was a propeller hanging yeah, down. Yes, yeah, and it actually like. And you can one, mount it on any surfboard. Yeah, and there's yeah. one that like, and it makes it come out of the water a little bit, like hydro. The hydrofoil, yeah. So this this guy is smoking. Is smoking. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's see how. Let's see how this thing works. Look at this. this guy's oh, he's ripping on yeah, it. Yeah, that would so be you, fun. You, you control it with a hand controller. You yeah. got a hand controller, and it. Yeah, dude, it rips. Look at that. You don't need a wave. Yeah, that's pretty badass, though. It's. That it kind of looks like a, almost like one of those paddleboard things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that guy needs like a suntan. Look at that guy. Oh, look at that guy's farmer's tan. I thought he had a white T-shirt on. Oh, and he still falls. Come on, guy. You wiped out hard. So a lot, a lot of surfers would talk crap about this product. Of course, just, just because it's not because anything that helps you that's not traditional surfing, where they're like, you don't have to paddle. But look where he's at, though. What I was going to ask you, he's on exactly, a lake, though. Exactly. So, so that's acceptable. Those lake, those yeah. lake riders, what I was going to yeah. ask you is, is this even practical to actually go surfing with this? Oh, thing? you There's could, no, but everyone would laugh at you. Yeah, but it'd be fun. The, it would be that, super nerd. Imagine soldiers rolling on this. Imagine like fifteen soldiers in a row. Dum, 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 soldiers, <laughs> and they're just ripping on that thing. They with, just like, jump M16? off at the beach. <laughs> at the beach, they get to the beach, they jump off. That would be sure, super fun. Do a somersault cool. into the aim. It'd be fun to just lay on your stomach and just 
fly yeah. on that thing. Yeah. yeah, they they do that too. I think you can do that. I, really. I, I'm into this thing for sure. Yeah. I, I can't surf, so I'm definitely into this thing. The problem is for that price point, you could buy a sick jet ski or like a yeah, sea-doo. dude. I mean, ten grand, ten is crazy. grand. Uh, yeah, uh, for eight hundred bucks, I'm in. Yeah, ten grand, no, nah, yeah. no the, way. Um, There's no way. I'm not because you know what? I'm not going to use it that much. Right. I don't have a lake yeah. nearby. That <laughs> That's I the thing. Look, look at this guy. Look at the house that he's in in the background. Yeah, yeah. Look at the this is a this is I have m- money to burn. This yeah. would be product. This is not a product, product for on us, a lake. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> not your average consumer product. Like this is like a specific market. This guy also looks it's like, like the, this guy also looks yes. like the, the the poor man's Wolverine. By the way, can we just <laughs> acknowledge that for a second? Those houses. He, and, and, and for Whoa. and for somebody who's tooling around. All day long on this thing, he doesn't look very tan. He looks like yeah, he has. Look, he looks like Hugh Jackman. Like if, if Wolverine had like a great credit score and like a bad <laughs> suntan, like this is <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. This is Good where credit. in a lot of of short sleeve button down. This is where shirts. Wolverine ended up. Uh, you know, somewhere in New Hampshire. On oh, the he's lake. he's a uh, what's that called? Hanging hanging ten. Well, hanging tens when you hang your your toes over the front, but he's doing it with his hand okay. off the rail, so he's grabbing. Rail. Oh no, that's a heel grab. That's he's a, grabbing uh, rail. Wait, gra- a rail grab. Yeah. Rail. It's a rail wait, grab. Wait, Trev, what's hanging ten? Hang ten is on a longboard surfboard when you walk up to the front and you hang your ten toes. Wow. This guy's wow. And five. Yeah, this guy's. Well, this guy's awesome. Well, thanks to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that those so that that was because I knew Trevor surf. So I no, I think that it's would awesome. Be a cool one. I appreciate that was it. great. Um, we have a surfing story. Yeah, yeah, but that's we're not going to share. Oh, that. We don't want to share. No, that. no. That basically now I really want to basically hear it. ended with us not surfing. <laughs> yeah. for, after a couple hours, nice. <laughs> it did not go well. Yeah, um, but anyway, anyway, that I think that concludes. <laughs> Uh, Collins Cyber Boy. Yes, yes. Thank you to this this guy. <laughs> sorry, sorry for calling you poor man's Hugh Jackman, but uh, or Wolverine, but you do you do look just like him. Yeah, uh, a little so. bit. And you're for sure poor. And you're for yeah. sure smoking. <laughs> no, he's not. He's got ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, you could. He's a rich man's Wolverine. <laughs> All right, that's, that's yeah. that is true. Anyway, count me off, Dad. Uh, here we go. Cyber Boy, he's got the tech news. Well done, Colin. Thank you. That was a well done Cyber Boy segment. <laughs> We're just going to keep this up for everybody sure. to enjoy. <laughs> um, anyway, so Trevor, Nick, Colin, Matt, you guys are all smoking. We've, Thank you. We've, uh, I think we've gotten towards the end of this podcast. What an episode. It's been filled with good times, nostalgia, good friends, good smoke lyrics. shows. Smoke shows. Yeah, good lyrics. No lack of smoke shows. Flew by. It really it did. did. It did fly by. Time flew flies. By. Um, just for this for this last little bit, keeping with the, uh, you know, it's October, ooh, and spooky. it's uh, spooky ooh, times. Ooh, ooh. So we're gonna just share a couple spooky stories. Oh, oh we're cool. doing spooky nice. before we end. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody getting murdered. Um, <laughs> wow. So just we're gonna share a couple spooky stories to to, to close it out. Love it. Trev, you want to start us off? I have a, actually a phenomenal story for you guys. Oh, yes. Let's go. So um, where I grew up, uh, so I, I went to college uh, at, there's Cal State Channel Islands. I was there for one semester. Um, but anyways, uh, so this school, it used to be, uh, it's in it's in Oxnard, California. Um, shout uh, out Anderson Pack. Yeah, yeah. Shout Oxnard. out Anderson Pack. Yeah, Oxnard. Yeah. Um, it's tucked in this little nook by the coast there, and it's it used to be a, a mental institution. So if you guys... Uh, um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I think it was sometime in the 70s they lost funding for mental institutions. So yeah. they, they literally opened the doors and just were like, see you later. Just let yeah. them all out. Thank you, wow. Ronald. All they have Thank those you, by, by us, too. The, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. like the yeah. story already. Classic. So, so, um, so my school, it used to be a mental institution, um, and especially the dorm rooms. In fact, some to this day, some of the dorm rooms have not been touched, and there's still like metal tables with chains and like yeah. blood and stuff. Like from the 70s, they haven't touched it, which is insane. So it's it's been known to be haunted. People hear weird noises. So, anyways, um, there behind the school, there's a there's a dairy farm. Uh, it's no longer functioning, but it used to be a dairy farm during the time of this mental institution. So it's now called Scary Dairy. They say it's haunted because <laughs> Scary Dairy. Yeah, well, you'll find out why. It's pretty wild. Uh, so, so <laughs> yeah, silly. let's hit that noise. Yeah. <laughs> so Scary Dairy. So. <laughs> scary dairy. Um, Welcome to Scary Dairy. Yeah, where if you're lactose I'm intolerant, Gary. you're gonna hate it. <laughs> you're gonna I'm die. your host, Gary. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, Joe. Oh right. man, go on. Go on. Go on. So at this place, they used to they they used to perform lobotomies there, which which oh. if you're familiar with that, it's when they like drill into your brain. Yeah, and, yeah. 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 They so, like scoop. They like <laughs> take your, like, oh yeah, yeah. Scoop it out. Yeah. yeah. And Sick. So, so they would take their aggressive patients and they would try and perform lobotomies and see if they could make them no longer aggressive. So what they would do is after they perform the lobotomies, they would they would put them to work on this dairy farm behind the uh, behind the mental wow. institution. And if they were still aggressive, they would kill them, and then they would have the other um, patients bury them, them in the no, bury them in the dairy farm there. So they found Barry, they found scary berry dairy. Yeah. So so years later, when they turned it when, years later when they turned it into a campus and they dug up a bunch of bodies that were buried there that had lobotomies done to them and uh, it's still there. You can go check it out. It's, no was that way. yeah? Obviously, that had to have been illegal, right? Oh, for sure, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> who <laughs> who was sure. running I that? Was it, hope so. the, the guy who <laughs> ran Gary. Auschwitz. Gary was Gary. running scary dairy. Right. <laughs> it was Gary. <laughs> yeah. It was just Gary. <laughs> Uh, fucking uh, yeah. Gary. I'm Gary. Shout out Gary. Oh my god. Mm. I'm just picturing Gary Busey. It's that's that's who it was. <laughs> oh, also also on this same campus. Scary Gary Busey. <laughs> Scary Gary Busey. I love it. Um have you guys seen uh uh The Grudge? Yeah. Yeah. Or the ring yeah. or wait, what's, what's, what's the, the one with the well? What's the one with that's the well? That's the ring. I that's think. the ring. Yeah, they yeah, filmed ring. that at yeah. my so the well that you see in that scene is on my campus. Dude, same place. What, what same place? What? Yeah. Wow, that well is there. You can go there and check it out. And you can get your hel- your head drilled into. And so would you, you guys would go and like bring some beers and like go like walk around. Go yeah, jump in the well. Gary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you <laughs> hear like dip. go yeah. push your buddies into the well. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Yep. Gary, your buddy Gary. <laughs> yeah, that's Gary. horrible. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. That's scary. That's scary. <laughs> that's horrible. Wow, horrible. that's a that's a pretty interesting story though. Yep, that's, that's great. I mean, that's really what's the name morbid. of the morbid. Uh, it's called well, Cal State Channel okay. Islands is the school. Uh, and it used to be called Scary Dairy, or it's still called Scary Dairy. Is what the Scary farm dairy. is called behind it. Yeah. Wow. Well, there you go. Scary yeah. Dairy. That's crazy. They do like dude. tours or something? Uh, no. Or people just call it that. Yeah, they just call it that. It's like a local <laughs> legend type of thing. Wow. Yeah, that's why. I wish you could take tours there. That'd be pretty cool. Well, we're gonna we're we're gonna pull up some images of that and throw throw that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Some um, nice dead bodies. Scary dairy. stuff. Being <laughs> I got off. I got one one more thing before we leave about about something spooky. It's actually it's more interesting than it is spooky. Okay. Okay. And uh, maybe you could look this up while I'm while I'm sure. talking about it, Kyle, so we get more information on it. But uh, there was this place that people would drive to all the time, and the the deal was if you parked your car and you put it into neutral. That your car would start going up this hill, without I, yeah, it's yeah, called Gravity this. Hill. Gravity Hill. We have yeah, one of those yeah. here. Where was this? I'm not sure. I think it might be in Northern California. Actually, now that I'm thinking about, it. I don't. I don't know. Actually, okay. but but that's the thing. And people were convinced that this place was like I've heard of this haunted. Place. I've heard of this place. And you would you would get in your car, and this is real. This yeah. is a real thing. It's more of a scientific thing than a spooky thing. But people made it into a spooky thing. Yeah, Magnetic Hill. There mm-hmm. you go. And you put your car in neutral, and the friggin' car goes up this hill without you uh, doing anything. And the the thing is, it's not really uphill; it's actually going downhill. So it's an it's an illusion. It's an yes, it's, it's an illusion, illusion. but it because it, it looks like it's going uphill, but yeah, where it is, yeah, there you go. Gravity Hill also, also knows Magnetic Hill, Mystery Hill. Okay. Gravity road, anti gravity hill. Doesn't look that so. It says there, the yeah. most important factor contributing to the illusion is completely or mostly obstructed horizon. A completely or mostly obstructed horizon. So you can't right. tell where the horizon line is. So it so it makes where it look where uphill. is this? Where is it? Uh, oh, where so, is there's, road. so there's oh, really no, no. nothing going on. Oh, New but Brun- the way that it in New looks. Brunswick, uh, University of California Riverside. It says New Brunswick right there. Oh, it does. Water appearing to run uphill at New Brunswick, New Brunswick Gravity Hill. Isn't that in Connecticut? New Brunswick. Look, there's the. I mean, so yeah, it looks like it's uphill. It's crazy, dude. It the, does from the camera. And the and there's photo. and if you look this up, there's videos of people doing it. They, they I've they, heard of this place. They parked their like car. Somebody took a piss and it ran. <laughs> I was gonna say that'd uphill. be the first thing I would try when I'm there. I gotta see if this goes up. <laughs> somebody beat us to it there. Um, <laughs> yeah, but if you look it up, there's videos of the the cars actually going like going up the hill. What did that say about bicycles, Kyle? It, it does it with bicycles too. Where's that? Go go, go uh, up a little bit. Again here. Bicycle racing as a uh, is, wait. 
op- the opposite phenomenon, an uphill road that appears flat, is known in bicycle racing as a false flat. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> Those of you nothing, cycling enthusiasts. Nothing to do with it. How come it doesn't say where it is? Um, I don't know. It, it does. It. That's okay. also what they call girls that um, you know, girls that, that make their breasts yeah, appear to be larger than they are. They're a false flat. flat. Yeah, when you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Weird California. Ooh, this is gonna be a good site to go for. Ooh, to for there Scoopy. you go. Spooky, uh, stories. Scoopy stories. Scoopy. Weird California. Um, Gary runs this site too. <laughs> Scary Gary. Choose. Will you become the next K-pop idol? Gary yeah, runs. There's our, there's our next show. Things. We got to go on the next K-pop idol. Oh my God. Uh, San, uh, oh, there several are r- rumored throughout California, including San Diego, La Jolla, La right, Yala, well, well, La Jolla. There, La Jolla. La Jolla. there right. must be, <laughs> there must be a few. A few <laughs> so white of you. I'm white. La Jolla. Yeah. I'm white as fuck. There must be a few, uh, a few different spots of this. If you guys, if you guys have been to it, let us know where it's at. Uh, if not, uh, you you could see stuff on on the the old YouTube there. Look, there's a list of there's them a right whole here. A lot. Of oh, them. More, more Park. We're right by there. We're gonna we're gonna go try one of San these out. Fernando. Let's go take days. a piss on Gravity Hill, sure. boys. <laughs> I wonder if you put like if you just put like a bowling ball down. If it, it must, right? Everything, everything that anything that could roll or move. Everything. Really, Four yeah, men they... get arrested for rolling bowling ball downhill, <laughs> killing an elderly woman. Okay, so so there's a More Park Gravity Hill. That's the other college I went to, and apparently it's haunted. Also, dude, so you I just, just went to all the haunted <laughs> friggin' yeah. colleges. What's up with that? I don't know, man. Spooky. Well, Very there spooky. you go. You got Gravity Hill. You got Scary Gary Dairy. Can you farm. look up Scary Dairy? I want to see if it's actually if there's articles on it or if it's just like a local legend. Because I think I remember. <laughs> I think I remember looking it up. And <laughs> this is going to bring you to some porn site. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just Gary. Scary, yeah, it's Gary Camarillo. That's the one. Gary covered That's in Atlas melon. Obscura. Discover scary we'll you graffiti covered ruins that were once part of a owned farm by a mental. Yeah, owned by. Oh, they owned it. Yes. Oh, that's diabolical, it. dude. That's yeah. slave labor. Yeah, that's yeah. like that's like some crazy shit. This is pretty creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we should go there. There's I'm something inherently yeah. I'm spooky super down. about abandoned farm oh, it's buildings. In, okay, mm-hmm. that's not too far. Yeah, we should part camp out there. Yeah, this that is the land. Dude, let's that camp was out. It was originally part of Camarillo. Would State you do that? Yeah, hospital. yeah, I would love to. And we could film it. And let's we could, do it. And we could see all the spooky I'm stuff. I'm a thousand percent down. Okay, well, that's where you heard it here. We're going to take a camping trip to Scary Gary Dairy Farm. <laughs> and this will be the last that we see of Trevor and Matt. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to document it Blair Witch style. Yeah, let's And you guys it. are going to find our, our shaky video camera uh, footage at the end. Oh, my God. Is that scary? <laughs> it's fucking Gary. He's, he's right back. <laughs> well, that concludes our spooky stories of the evening. Look at that. So, Trevor, <laughs> Trevor, thank you so much for coming on the coming over uh, on the show. It's my thank, absolute thank pleasure. You. Thanks, Thanks for Trevor. taking my podcast, Virginity. Yeah, dude, it, you got a round of applause from the crowd there, an extra loud applause. one. Um, yeah, dude, th- thank you for for letting us take it. Hey, it's an honor. It's, it's I been, wouldn't uh, want it to be taken by anyone else. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Um, <laughs> So thank you so much, and and why don't you why don't you tell us? I know the the people know where to find you, but why don't you yeah. tell us what Pornhub. to look out for? Yeah, your to tell us your OnlyFans, Vine, link. yeah, Porn, yeah, uh, yeah, Tumblr My account face. name, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, LinkedIn, uh, no, so. Scary Dairy, <laughs> yeah, Scary Dairy. Uh, website yeah no uh so my main platform would probably be instagram which my handle is trevor holmes 86 um yeah and i, I got a youtube channel i think it's under trevor holmes also uh, but yeah follow me there for all updates and we'll stay there you touch. go awesome yeah. check yep, them out yep, yep. heartthrob smoke show thank you man. great musician i appreciate great you buddy. guys Thank you. Thank, thank you for you, thank for being on. Do you want to you want to take us out with a little jam? Oh, dude, let's do it. You know what? Dude. So the, for those of you who don't know, Trevor is a great singer, also a great karaoke singer. Oh, dude! That's and his funny. karaoke go to. Some would argue better karaoke singer than actual. singer. I don't know about that, <laughs> but he is a karaoke legend. It's in some and circles. Some those circles. of you who really know him know that this is his go to song, <laughs> and we're gonna do a like a little funkier version of it. Let's get it. Oh, this is funky. Yeah. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. There ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. I wonder this time where she I wonder this time where she
wonder if she's gonna stay There ain't no sunshine when she's gone But she's always gone too long Anytime she goes away Cause I know, 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 I'll leave your thing alone, but ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Only darkness every day. There ain't no sunshine when she's gone, and she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. Anytime she goes away You want to take us with a bass solo? mess from the start, but then we, we locked it in. Thank you, and good evening. We, we, we're faded out good by evening. then anyway, 100%. so it's all good. You guys wow. are smoking. Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> nice. That was, that was beautiful. God. Super smoking. So smoking. Oh. <laughs> you have fun? Oh, man, blast. Yeah, That's that great. was good stuff. Super great. Right, I'm super <laughs> bored. <laughs>